Hey guys, Tech Adventure with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to quickly set up your AirPods with your iPad. It's going to be really straightforward and simple to do, but there's a couple things you need to do before you can set it up. And then we're going to share with you guys some tips and tricks, especially if you guys are still having issues connecting your AirPods to your iPad. But before we dive into today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways. So make sure that like and subscribe button. So the most important thing whenever you're setting up your AirPods to your iPad is making sure your AirPods are actually compatible with your iPad. So there's a couple generation of AirPods out there right now. There's the regular ones have generation one, which requires an iPad that has iOS 10 and above, and then generation two, which requires iOS 12.2 or above, and then generation three of the AirPods require you to have pretty much iOS 15.1 or later to work. So that's going to be important. The third generation of the AirPods were recently released. So if you have an older device or iPad, you need to make sure you're on iOS 15.1. Now, if you have the AirPods Pro model, which is just one generation, you want to make sure the iPad has 13.3 or later. So that's going to be the updates that are required for your iPad. So that's going to be the first thing. And if you need to update your software, you can simply go to settings. And then once you go to settings, general software update, and you can check the update here, or simply can also check go by going back and about to see what version of software you have. Now, once you know that that's compatible, now we want to turn on the Bluetooth if it's not already on. By default, it's on, but if it's not, you're simply going to make sure that button that you see that's a blue sign, that is blue, or simply go into settings and then go to Bluetooth and make sure that is on and it's discoverable. Now, once that is good to go, you're going to take your AirPods that you have. Simply what should happen is if you flip open the lid, it should pop up to set it up if you're setting it for the very first time. But if you already connected to another Apple device, it might not show up. And in that case, if it doesn't show up, you're going to press and hold this button on the back. So it's like a circular button. This is the second generation of AirPods. So we're just going to press and hold. And once you press and hold, let go. And it's going to show that many that we just mentioned will pop up. And once that pops up, you're going to want to simply keep it open so when it pops up if it if you don't keep it open it will close again so you're going to have to open it up again and same thing it will come up again and then you're going to hit connect so keep it open if it closes that menu goes away so keep it open and as you can see we already set up these airpods but as you can see now it's connected it shows the charge of the actual earpieces and the case itself and then you can hit done and now we're connected and good to go and you can simply check that by going into settings and then in bluetooth this time you'll see the name of the airpods it, most of the time it'll say your the name of your AirPods that you named it, if you named it another device, or if it's very first time, it will just say AirPods. And then all the options will come up here, like you can customize all of this and do for that. Now, if you need to disconnect it completely, you can forget either disconnect, so it's uh, not connected anymore, or you can simply forget the device what will require you to set it up again. Now, that was pretty straightforward. Now, if you're still having issues not connecting, most of the time, the couple of reasons why it's not connecting is make sure your AirPods are actually fully charged because sometimes even if it's low charge, it might not detect it. And the next thing you want to make sure on the iPad is if it doesn't pick it up, go ahead and just lock it and then unlock it and you should see it will probably pop up again. Now, if that doesn't work, you might have to turn off the device. Give it a turn off by holding the power button here on the top and then slide it off, turn it off and then turn it back on and try it again. Usually that will resolve the issue. Now, if that doesn't resolve the issue, you might want to do what's known as a reset of the AirPods, which we explained in another video, which will leave the link for you guys on that one, as that one does take a couple things to know, and we don't want to make this video any longer. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys connecting your AirPods to your iPad. If this video is helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.